Good Friday afternoon. I'm Brad Edwards. Now more breaking news. He's a two time convicted felon now suspected in a crime spree that left two dead and a police canine seriously hurt. CBS 2's Asal Razai is live in Logan Square where that crime spree started. Asal. Brad, it all started here at this bus stop and ended in Bristol, Wisconsin, just over the border. The suspect is a 33 year old man from the western suburbs with a long criminal history. The Kenosha County Sheriff says the suspect is Alan Brown of Countryside. He is a convicted felon and no stranger to police. In 2009, he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to four years in prison for aggravated battery of an officer. In 2008, Brown was sentenced to two years in prison after pleading guilty for aggravated battery. We've also learned between 2005 and August of this year, he's been arrested several times for drug possession, battery, aggravated assault, and resisting a police officer, but all of those charges were dropped. The Thursday crime spree ended yesterday morning at this gas station in Bristol, Wisconsin. The Kenosha County Sheriff says Chicago police tipped them to a stolen car in the parking lot. When police got there, they say Brown ran and moments later shot a canine named Briggs that was chasing him. Police then shot Brown, wounding him. The car authorities focused on belonged to 41-year-old Miguel Padilla of Chicago. Padilla was shot and killed in a carjacking on Keystone in Logan Square hours before. Chicago police also linked the carjacker to the killing of a 25-year-old man at a bus stop nearby at Pulaski and Fullerton. Because of the two murders and at least two other unrelated shootings Wednesday, all in Logan Square, Chicago police are now adding patrols to the neighborhood. Crime data we found for the area shows they've seen 30 shootings so far this year compared to 20 this time last year. Canine Riggs was shot in the head and taken to an emergency vet hospital. He's expected to recover. As for Brown, he was taken to a hospital where he's expected to survive. Charges for him could come at any time. We're live in Logan Square. Asal Rezai, CBS 2 News.